Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm Joshua Amron, and like I said, I have uh, gone back to the Happy Mask shop and gave back the money that we needed, that we sold for the, the spooky mask. Payment received. Alright, now there's one more mask. The Bunny Hood. Do you want to borrow it? Yes. You borrowed the Bunny Hood. Alright. Now this guy can be a bit of a pain in the butt to find, um, but before I do that, I'm going to actually buy the last two magic beans that I need, and then I'll, yeah, then I'll sell off the bunny hood to him. So I'm gonna head over to the yeah the Zoro's domain area where we the guy selling those magic beans. But first of all, I'm going to show you the bunny hood and what it does. Basically, it just lets you, well, oh, uh, in this game it doesn't. Oh, that sucks. Oh, anyways, in Majora's Mask, I believe, you're actually able to use it to move a lot faster over land. But, apparently in this game it doesn't. Yeah. I told you my memory would fail me a lot. And that was one time. I just got the two games mixed up, that's all. Anyways, we'll get to Zoro's Domain, or the area before Zoro's Domain. I forget what it's called, too. Man. Let's find out. I'm curious to know. I think it's Zoro's River or something. Yeah, Zoro's River. Alright. I have enough rupees now so that I can get those magic beans because it's going to be 190 for the last two. So, yeah. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have the legendary magic beans. I'll sell them only to you. Super price, 80 rupees. Yep, I'll take it. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, do you want magic beans? They aren't cheap, but do you still want them? I can't let them go for 90 rupees. Alright, I hope that's all of them. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure it is. I hope. Oh, no. There's more. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to get 6 rupees. And then come back. Hopefully I'll get them from just chopping these bushes. We'll see. Man, six rupees. What a way to go. Actually, you know what I can do? Yeah, I'll do that instead. I'm going to jump into the river and get some rupees that way. That should be a much quicker idea. Man, sorry about that. I thought I had enough, but I guess not. Three. Three beans left. I'm trying to think. I, I only know of two. Oh, oh man, that's not good. I'll have to find out where that third one is. Oh, where is it? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Alright, we got enough now. Stupid... Oh, stupid jerk. This is definitely one of the more pain-in-the-ass um, quests to do, since it involves so many rupees. Yeah. Oh well. I got enough now. I'm going to have to know where that third one is. I, I totally forget. Alright, so that now should be all of them. I hope. Oh, sold out. Good. Good. Finally. Okay. Now, to sell off this bunny hood. What we need to do is find the postman carrier. Well, he's not a postman in this game, but in every other game he is. So, and we need to find him. He runs around Lon Lon Ranch. So that's where we're going to be heading. He runs in a circle around the place. So, hopefully it won't take too long to find him. And then once that is done, um, I believe 
Yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing for now. I'll carry on with the plot once I've found the guy and given him the bunny hood. Alright. I'm going to go this way. Just because, in my experience, he runs counterclockwise? Or clockwise? Oh, no, he runs the same way I'm going, so it probably would be smarter to go the other way. Oh, well. I'll find him sooner or later, anyways. No biggie. If I do oh, there he is. He's right over the gate there. I see him. Or the stone wall. Not, it's not a gate. Jeez. There he is. See him running there in the distance. We'll catch up to him. Oh, well, it's a marathon race, I tell ya. He doesn't go that fast, though. But, oh, jeez, you should see him once he gets the bunny hood, though. He goes absolutely crazy. Alright, come on, I want to talk to you before those things try to kill me. No, go away. Let me speak at you. Oh, yeah, I think you have to wait for him to, to sit down for a rest. Yeah, I remember that. So just follow him around and uh, wait for him to sit down for a rest. He will do it eventually. Yeah, just deflect those stupid little pea hat larvas with your shield to kill them. Come on, man, I don't have all day. Maybe if I don't target him. I don't know. I think he rests at night, maybe. Maybe that's the cue. That might be the trigger. Nope, I guess not. Oh, boy. There he goes, finally. Okay, let's talk to him. I bet with those long ears you can hear the voices. Oh, these are genuine rabbit ears from the Animal of Legend. I don't care how expensive it is. Please sell it to me. Sure thing there, bud. My, li my long time dream. Returning to the wildlife. Finally, the actor, stage, and prop have been, reun have been united. It's a 50 rupee mask, but he paid a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count. Go back to the mask shop and pay back just 50 rupees of this money. Yeah. <clears throat> what he, uh... What he does is he just fills up your wallet. So yeah. It's a good idea to uh, drain your rupees first by buying magic beans and whatever else you need. Things like that. Doing mini games and all that kind of stuff. Drain your rupees first before you sell him the bunny ears. Just so that it, the rupees that he gives you don't go to waste. Alright. So I'm going to be heading back to the uh, Happy Mask shop yet again. Yeah, I'm going to pause it here because I won't have enough time, so be back. Just a second. Alright guys, I'm here at the Happy Mask shop. I just wanted to make sure that I'd have enough time to uh, get through this portion here. Oh yeah. Very well done. All the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. Ho ho ho! So we got the Mask of Truth now. And we can borrow any mask. Yeah. Any mask that we have sold. See, we can go through all of them. Yep. I'm not sure, exactly sure what each one really does. Um, so, I know what the Mask of Truth does, though. You can use it, like he said, you can talk to people and you'll hear their uh, thoughts. So... 
Here, I'll, I'll just try it out here for you. I'll show you. Let's talk to her. Yeah, what's your problem? Okay, I guess it doesn't work on. We'll just talk to a few people just to see. Oh, please, go bother someone else. I know you can talk to the, uh, the Stones of Truth. And, um... They'll actually give you hints of the game. Well, hints about the game. Yeah, jeez, man. I can't think straight. Alright, so, anyways, that's gonna be it for now. Next video, I am going to continue on with the plot. You'll, it's getting exciting, so you'll want to tune in. <laughs> See you later.